Hi there, my lovelies. If you don't know what petite fours are, they're basically bite-sized cakes. They're really cute and fun to make. I made four flavors today, a strawberry cheesecake, a lemon custard, tiramisu, and a hazelnut chocolate. So let's get started. So some of the things you will need are a vanilla cake and cream cheese frosting. I will link the videos for those in the description box below if you'd like to use my recipes. But so this video didn't run crazy long, I'm not gonna show the making of those. Now I'm taking my white cake out of the pan and leveling it. You can either eat this top part of the cake as a little snack or save it in a Tupperware and make cake pops with it later. I have this tool here called a cake leveler. I'm gonna use it to slice my cake into two even slices. You can do this with a serrated knife if you don't have this tool. I'm just gonna set the top layer aside. Next I'm gonna add a thin layer of cream cheese frosting to my cake. Then I'm gonna add a layer of strawberry jam. You can use store-bought or homemade, whatever you prefer. I'll link my video on how to make homemade jam with the full recipe for this video in the description box below. Don't worry about it spilling over the edges of the cake because we'll be cutting off the ends anyway. I'm adding the top layer of cake and then a last layer of cream cheese frosting. Then I placed it on a baking sheet and then into the freezer for an hour so it has a chance to harden before we cut into it for our squares. While the cake is in the freezer, I'm going to make my icing. So to some powdered sugar, I'm going to add in some milk and give it a mix until it's smooth, but still about the thickness of heavy cream. Then I'm adding a drop of pink and red food coloring and mixing that into the icing. Now that my cake is ready, it's time to slice it. I'm slicing the edges of the cake off. And then using a ruler, measure out where to cut to make your squares. A really great tip is to make sure to clean your knife in between each cut so that each slice afterwards is clean. Then set them on a wire rack on top of a baking sheet. Take one of your cakes and drip icing on top covering the entire cake. If the icing is hard, just pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds and then give it a quick mix before adding it to your cakes. Then I have here some freeze dried strawberry pieces that I'm adding to the top. And that's our strawberry petite four. Next is our tiramisu. So here I have some mascarpone cheese, which is what is used in tiramisu. And I'm adding some sugar to it and giving it a mix until it's smooth. To my bottom cake layer, I'm gonna add some coffee. And then taking the mascarpone cheese and adding a layer of that on top. Lastly, I have the second cake layer and then a top layer of cream cheese frosting, and again into the freezer for an hour. For the icing instead of milk, I'm gonna use coffee. Just give that a mix until it's smooth. I've already dipped my mini cakes into the icing, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some cocoa powder on top. And then with a little chocolate, I'm gonna attach a chocolate swirl. Just let those dry for about 15 minutes before serving, and that's it for the tiramisu. Now I'm making the lemon custard for our lemon petite fours. So I've added an egg yolk to three eggs and I'm adding that to a double boiler. I'm also adding some sugar and lemon juice. Now here's the tricky part. You're gonna to wanna to constantly whisk the ingredients together until it starts to thicken up. This is gonna take about 15 minutes or until it reaches 170 degrees Fahrenheit. You have to consistently whisk the mixture, otherwise the bottom will get too hot and the eggs will cook too much and scramble in the mixture and it'll just taste really weird. So now that the mixture is thickened up, I'm adding the custard through a sieve just to get out any lumps that might be there. Then whisk in your butter a few cubes at a time until all the butter has been melted into the custard. Lastly, I'm just gonna zest some lemon into the custard. Add some plastic wrap to the bowl, making sure to push it all the way down so that a layer doesn't form on the custard. Then add that to the refrigerator to let it chill and thicken up completely. So just like the strawberry jam, I'm going to add the custard layer after the cream cheese layer. Continue with the same steps as the other cakes. For the icing, I'm using powdered sugar, milk, and a drop of lemon food coloring. As a really fun topping for these, I ordered some edible gold paper on Amazon and I'm placing a little bit on each cake to give it a gorgeous shine. For the last cake, I'm gonna use an amaretto liqueur. If you don't wanna use alcohol, then just skip this step. 
So I'm just brushing the amaretto liqueur on the cake and then adding a layer of hazelnut chocolate spread such as Nutella. Then add the top layer of cake, a layer of cream cheese frosting, and then into the freezer. For the icing, I'm using powdered sugar, milk, and brown food coloring. Lastly, I'm taking some of the melted chocolate that I use for the top of the tiramisu cakes and drizzling it over the cakes. Just let them dry and they're ready to serve. Don't those look gorgeous? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, I'll be doing a Q&A in the next couple weeks, so if you have any questions you'd like me to answer, please leave a comment down below. All right, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you back here next week. Bye, my lovelies.